What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Kyle Poole and I am a photographer and video creator. Today we're talking product photography and last time I made a video similar to this, I had a lot of comments of people asking me to go into more detail about, you know, my camera settings and just like the overall set and how I achieved some of those photos. So we're going into detail on how I achieved this photo. All I used to achieve this photo was my DJI Ronin case, a piece of black bristle board from the dollar store, a piece of wood, numerous books, a mason jar that I used to have blueberry jam in, grandma's blueberry jam, the Buffalo Trace bourbon. So obviously with bourbon, I feel like it's a very warm drink. So I wanted to achieve a warm rustic feel. So everything that I picked in terms of props, lighting, everything was to achieve that rustic feel. I felt like the mason jar was a perfect accent because it's the same color glass. It had the same type of liquid in it. And all the books were a brown tone that I really liked. And then the wood added a nice texture for the bottom layer. So in terms of lighting, obviously this has a very warm feel to it. So I really wanted to bring that out in the photo. The only lights we had in this whole room originally were obviously like you have a main light in your, your place. Typically lights in homes are a tungsten color. So again, that works perfectly for what we're doing. That light actually doesn't provide a lot of light. For anyone looking through a camera lens, you'll know what I'm talking about, but it doesn't provide a lot of actual light. So what we did was we added a fill light to the left-hand side here. I noticed that it was a little bit too harsh. So what I did was I put a white sheet over top of it that basically just diffused it a little bit more so this obviously provided a lot of light for the whole side and added a lot of cool shadows i wanted to eliminate some of those shadows just so they weren't as harsh and i really wanted to fill from the front so i had a second light coming from the right hand corner it brought a lot of light to the label and just got rid of some of the harshness on the shadows but still left them with those ever so creamy shadows. So I noticed that I wanted the label to even just pop that little bit more and that it wasn't a tungsten enough color in the room and in the photo in general. So I brought in this random desk lamp that I had and I put it right beside where my camera was on my tripod and just pointed it almost straight at the bottle. It's a beautiful label. So I really wanted to showcase that for this photo. So one thing you may notice while using studio lights, if you're doing anything that has glass or a bottle, you might notice that there's a little bit of white reflection that can be really easily fixed by either diffusing the light a little bit more or just by simply photoshopping it after the fact if they're small enough and it's a dark surface that you're going to be putting it on and there's enough that you know that you can pull from I wouldn't even really worry about changing it too much so for me personally for this shoot I had a knife in the photo at one point I had it all the way up against the wall I had the lights in different positions and just really honestly experimenting with where I wanted certain things until I landed on this specific shot that I was happy with so for any kind of product photography in terms of an actual product on something I like to use a prime lens I have a 50 mil 1.8 or a 35 mil 1.4 depending on how much bokeh I want in the background or the foreground I usually have it between 1.4 and 2.8. For this specific shot, we were at 1.4. My camera settings were 1 250th of a second for shutter speed, a 1.4 f-stop, and then 250 ISO. If there's any kind of other elements, you want to know if they're gonna be in focus or not. So having the ability to go down to 1.4, I ensured that the bourbon was the only thing in focus. Everything else in the foreground and background were out of focus to some extent. So it really focused on just the bourbon bottle and you knew what was the center of the photo. For shutter speed, 250th of a second is pretty sharp. I just wanted to make sure that I got a crisp photo. 250 ISO was honestly like, I just try to keep my ISO as low as possible. The higher you go in ISO, the more grain you're gonna get in your photo. So if you keep that ISO nice and low, you're gonna ensure that there's the least amount of grain possible, especially when you're using any kind of art artificial light, you want to make sure that your ISO is as low as you possibly can. And that means that you lit your photo to the best of your ability. Sometimes for product photography, if the product or you're shooting it at a not straight on angle, you will want it to be a higher uh, f-stop you might want to go to 2 2.8 something like that just to ensure that it actually is in focus because you might get only part of it in focus at 1.4 because it is so wide open that so many things are going to be blown out for this one it was straight on so i knew that it was the same distance from everywhere on the bottle so i knew that it was going to be in that range but 
For some instances, you might want it to be at 2.8 or even higher. So we've set up our props, we've set up our lighting, we've set up our camera. Uh, the only thing left now is just to actually edit the photo. If you guys are interested in that, please leave a comment below and I'll definitely make another video on it. I do have editing videos actually on my channel right now. So if you're interested, you can definitely go check those out. I'll link them at the end of the video. But that's all for me. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate all the love I've been getting on my channel, both on Instagram and YouTube. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button, like the video, share it with your homies. Do whatever you gotta do and I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace and love y'all.